Let's take a look at warping a Louette David 3 loom using the Lofty Fiber Helping Hands. Shown here is the beaming bracket. It simply snaps on each side of the back of the castle. To remove, you put your finger up under, pull out gently, and pop it off. Now we'll show you this loom is currently being warped and we're going to look at the uh, base which is holding the lee sticks and the base is either in the beaming position at the top or it's in the threading position at the below as shown here. So let's take a look at how to remove that base again. You push up on the top tab and simply lift it out of the bottom tab. To attach, place in the bottom tab and push down at the top. I have a couple of work chains and I have my lee sticks threaded through the cross. The crosses are still tied off, so everything's good and secure. So I simply insert this into the into the base. And I'm going to take this side of the lee sticks, not attached. This side is clipped in. Clip the lee sticks through the base. And then just simply go under the tab and click into place. So now the lee sticks are ready for slaying and beaming. My project is 19 and a half inches in the reed, so I'm going to go through the Louette marks the center right here. So I'll use that mark, and so it'd be one quarter inches less than 10, so that's pretty easy. So I can track up here, and I will, um, what I'll do is take that cap off, and I'll mark that with this one, because that'll make it easy to do. Let's see. One quarter of it, I need to start slaying right into there. So at this point, I'm going to want to cut the ties or untie the my cross here, and I'll start to slay in the rattle. Now my ends per inch are 32, so in in every so if these are four dents per inch. So 32 divided by four is eight. So that's easy. I'll put eight warp ends in every slot. Just continuing across, pinching eight threads at a time. I look visually and have four on the top, top and four on the bottom of each stick. And that comes off nice and clean. So I've, now I've got the right number. And you can slide these and just keep going until you're done. See, I'm putting that one in the little purple sleeve. Now we've finished spreading in the rattle. I realized I forgot to put the locking pins in place. They fit pretty tight, but it's just an extra measure of security that you can put into the, the holes of the lee sticks so that if the bases came off and you put them in the floor, your warp is secure. So now we're going to start preparing to beam. And the first thing we're gonna do is put uh, either a tie-up stick or a metal apron rod, it doesn't matter, whichever one you have, in through the loops at the, that are covering the bottom of this, this lee stick. I also want to make a comment about the, the length of the warp after the cross. Now, this was woven on a Harrisville reel, and that's the shortest distance of any of my warping equipment. Um, the warping boards usually would have that extra bit hanging down to about here. But what I want to do is pull it back. And sometimes I like to hold on to the choke tie and pull that back so that it's flush with the with the base of that stick. And that way I know that, um, and by holding onto the choke tie to do this, you're not displacing any of these threads. So that looks looks pretty good. So now we're going to start putting the tie-up stick into these loops so that we can ultimately tie it on to the apron rod that's attached to the loom. 
I will make one comment. Louette does, rec does publish that you can actually use the, the tie-up stick that's on the loom itself to go through those loops. And you can do that. Uh, they recommend warping separate chains for the two areas. So you slip one chain over here, then, then slip, put the, uh, the tie back on the stick and then put the next chain on the other area. So that's another way of doing it that, where you don't even have to lash, but we're going to lash today. So this is a Louette wooden tie-up stick. Also a metal, metal rod works as well. So what we're going to do is to pull it up under these loops. the braid and get the, uh, the sticks as close as I want them for lashing. Maybe about that far apart. Now for the lashing on, we supply a little length of Texav with a peg that's adjustable so you can temporarily attach the two tie-up sticks together until you can get them lashed on. So you tie a hard knot on one of the sticks, doesn't really matter which one. And the method is to go over a stick, up through the middle, over the next stick, up through the middle, and take somewhere around an inch of warp. And go through that, over the stick, through the middle, over the stick, and you can come back to the lee sticks and make your little space there and get a clean break. I don't ever like to trap a, a warp thread. And you just can continue on with this figure eight pattern until you're lashed on and um, then you tie it with another hard knot. At that point you can remove these little these little uh, ties. They've done their, they've done their job. Now you can start to wind on, uh, placing paper and or sticks between the layers of warp and tightening at least every, every round. You can also have one, someone standing on the other side tensioning the warp if you prefer. Continue to make sure that all the slacks out of the warp and it looks nice and smooth through the leaf sticks and turn release the break and turn the beam about I usually do it about a half a turn you can do it more if you wish and you can use paper as well we're using sticks here just make sure that that warp goes on nice and even Once the warp reaches about the top of the reed or so, you'll want to take those, um, the ends of the warp, and drop them down over the top stick, lee stick, as shown here. This is on a different loom. I forgot to record this on the David, but the same thing applies. You can also see that I, am, I have unclipped it from the beaming brackets, and I'm clicking into threading position. Now back at a David 3 loom, let's take a quick look at how to attach the threading brackets. And these can stay on your loom if you like. They attach to hold the lee sticks at the level that you want to thread them. This part fits around that side post. And then there's a base here. I mean, there's an area of the bracket where the base fits into. It has a little tab at the bottom and the pushing area at the top to release them. So just simply pull and snap around that side post. This Texav uh, clips at the top on the eye hooks that are at the top of the castle, and that helps you to line them up so that they're at the same level, the two brackets, and it also is a little bit of extra security. So this is a picture of the, the David being threaded with the warp we were 
winding on earlier. The leaf sticks are attached in the threading brackets in the bases there. And we're looking at the front of, front of the loom and you can see I'm uh, threading right to left. And uh, that's about all there is to it. Uh, so you, once you finish threading, you slay the reed and tie on or lash on to the front apron bar, whatever you prefer. Before you start weaving, uh, either remove the leaf sticks completely from the back of the warp or at least take the bases off of the sides of the leaf sticks. Just remove the locking pins and slide the bases off. Um, and I thank you for watching this video and I hope it was helpful for you.